Hi everyone, this is Richard. Today I'm going to show you how to replace this headlamp turn signal switch on a 1996 Land Rover Discovery. Key signs for this switch needing replacement are rear lights don't work but the headlights work. Um, if all the fuses check out it's pretty good chance that this is what's wrong uh, you can pick it up I picked this one up on eBay for 80 bucks used of course uh, this part is very expensive if you buy it new but if you have the money go right ahead and do it I didn't have the money so I bought a used one um, some mechanics will tell you hey you gotta take off the steering wheel that's difficult especially when you don't have the tools the bolt that attaches the steering wheel to the steering column is very very tight and unless you have the proper tools I would recommend not doing that and the reason why they say that is because there are two screws and I'll show you that in a minute that are difficult to get at unless you have something special to remove it so all you need for this job is a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the three screws from the shroud which I've already done because that's easy to do and a pinch nose pliers and this little guy here which I just hacksawed off of another Phillips head screwdriver now you can get Phillips head screwdrivers that are already bent in an L shape that might fit into where you have to go to remove these screws it's two screws that you need to remove but if you can't do that you can make one on your own just by screwing off the head of a Phillips screwdriver and using the pinch nose pliers to turn the screw now let me show you where the screws are okay this is the first screw that needs to be replaced that needs to be removed and then this is the second one that needs to be removed. Now you can see I've loosened them up already. I don't need to do that. Um, but what I did do, let me show you now, is I attached, I grabbed on to the Phillips head little tool that I had and I fitted it in with the pinch nose pliers and I turned these screws to the left and they came out pretty easily um, as long as you didn't have work on it before and you didn't have one of these Land Rover dealership guys uh, go in there and tighten it up so nobody else can unscrew them then coming from the manufacturer they come off pretty easily right so I just loosened it up with the pinch nose pliers and then after loosening it up with the pinch nose pliers, I can take it out with my fingers. Okay? Now, in the back of this switch, you can see some plugs. Two plugs. One, two. Don't try to remove them before removing the switch because there's not enough clearance there to get them out. So now, you think, you would think, I could just pull on this and it's going to come out. No, it won't. It's stuck there. So, what you need is a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver okay flathead screwdriver I'm sorry for the movement on the camera I'm doing this by myself and so you push it into this tab okay and once you push it into that tab it op it allows enough clearance to pop this guy out and you can see pop right out all right so once you get these, this guy out, now you can take out the plugs in the back. So you just push this tab in here, right here, with a screwdriver and push out. Then you push this tab in here with a screwdriver and pull it out. And that's it. Now the reverse is done. You just, uh, now to install it, you reverse the procedure and you're all done very simple okay 
do not have to remove the steering column as most people recommend the steering wheel as most people recommend it is not easy I tried it it's a big headache so don't do it guys do it my way and you'll be out of here well you'll be out of the job in uh, 20 minutes at the most all right take care everybody bye